What was the last rebellious music? Bam. They did a tune called Band in the USA. <laughs> they took the Born in the no USA way. and did Band in the oh, USA. Shit. That's what you got to do. <laughs> Didn't your dad, your dad worked in the music Yeah, he was industry. a tour manager for the Sex Pistols. I need yeah, love. Yeah. The whole place was boo yeah, yeah, and throwing yeah, things yeah. out. And I was there going, I need love. love. <laughs> <laughs> he was loving it. And a lot of times now people are just working to formulas. Yeah. They're seeing what works with streaming. Yeah. They're seeing what works with collaborations. They're seeing what works mm. with videos. They're, they're just studying the game now. Too many people now are studying the game yeah. rather than just creating no disrespect to any yeah. no guy yeah, out there yeah, but yeah. I can't listen to that more than an hour like, yeah. mm. it yeah. just does my head in yeah. good music would never die say you're the bass player he's the drummer I'm the lead vocalist if you make one mistake Everything, Everything. Mash up. I still see myself as a little fat kid trying to fit into a suit. We'll come. Yeah. There'll be we'll someone sat somewhere who yeah. will make the next rebellious music yeah. because it always mm. it always will come. Yes, people, welcome to the SASAS podcast, Life and Laughter. And in the house, you have my boy Harry Shotter. GG! Wait, wait, wait. Myself, the Shabadee. <laughs> well, hold on, wait, wait. Why did I go, oi, oi, oi? That was a bit like high pitch. Can someone, can someone turn the bass down in my voice? That's it, much, much better now. Is that uh, talking <laughs> the lamb and flag? <laughs> <laughs> What was the result today? I don't know why that makes oh, me laugh. We lost 4-0 to Man City. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's... that's, that's again, a, yeah. <laughs> nah. Again. No, 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 we've been rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling. It's all jokes, it's all jokes. Before, all jokes. before we start, <laughs> don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Trust yeah. And subscribe. <laughs> um, yeah, the Life and Laughter podcast. What are we going to talk about today, lads? Well, Boy. let's talk about uh, what was the last rebellious music. Oh, the last rebellious music? Yeah, no, no, no. Mm. All right, so let's go back to the first rebellious music that you remember even if you weren't old enough to remember it okay so let's define it as well rebellious music so, is that is that something that goes against the grain is something yeah. like if you know if you think about back in the days I've seen enough documentaries to know that like rock and roll yeah. was like well, almost, was almost was outlaw better. music they well, wouldn't I, even Elvis weren't even allowed to be filmed like he had to yeah, be filmed like right. that he couldn't even show his pelvis on telly because it yeah. was considered too sexual are you serious so rock and roll yeah, was considered a Elvis massive film. teen film. teen rebellion music yeah. do you know oh, what I mean wow see I didn't even know that I mean yeah. like, you're going way back I was yeah. thinking uh, that that, that maybe punk or um, punk was the 70s wasn't yeah. it and Elvis was more was it the 50s, that been 60s. The 50s yeah. so in the 60s it would have been like the psychedelic thing maybe well, I, or was if, that rebellion from what I know and what I've read music even jazz was quite a rebellious yeah. music oh, yeah. back in the yeah. day because yeah, 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 yeah. they were going against the grain and doing yeah, their own thing yeah. and challenging a lot of the things that were going yeah. on especially in America at the yeah. time then I guess it would be the rock and roll thing that we rock touched and on and then like you said the sort of was it Mark Bolan and people like that and Jimi Hendrix well, and playing well, your guitar on stage and all yeah. that yeah I mean seven, I was born in the 70s I ain't gonna say the exact date um, <laughs> 81 no joke no. Uh, the 70s is known to be punk music yeah so it was the punk era. Um, I wasn't even a, a big fan of it, but I was aware of it. You know what I mean? Because no, the whole Sex Pistols thing, and yeah. there was oh, like no, God Save the, the Queen, and Wait a minute. it was controversial. There was a lot of yeah, and then energy, got, but it was the like it was Pistols. Well, the Sex yeah. Pistols were going to do something. Um, they did a quite a, a song that was God Save the Queen. Was it a God Save yeah, the Queen? Yeah, yeah, Anarchy, Anarchy, right? Okay. Anarchy in the UK. Yeah, Anarchy. That's, I like that, that was yeah, yeah. He done a tune called Anarchy. Yeah, yeah. That was controversial, and the government was fighting against them. I mean, my dad was in that era so he educated me on that Yeah, I, I, I got born into punk I, obviously I didn't really like it I, yeah. I, I didn't grow up on it but yeah. later on I sort of like caught up with my roots and yeah. found out what it was do you know what I mean but yeah. it was very like controversial the government yeah, didn't your, against it didn't your dad your dad worked in the music industry yeah he was industry. a tour manager for the Sex Pistols yeah. that's right that yeah. must be some wild tours boy. Yeah, <laughs> you, got any, you got any stories that boy. he won't mind us we might have to get him here for the <laughs> like them man they're just mad I went on stage with them in Japan when I was doing that band thing Yeah, and they, their energy um, it, it was the only thing to be honest with you, that matched the drum and bass energy, mm. like with the, the, the crowd reaction and yeah. things yeah. like that, and the energy of the music, but it's too, it was too devilly, man. It was yeah. too dark, and yeah. like, there was like a lot of, uh, uh, yeah, like... Sadistic? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like, People cutting themselves on stage, oh, no, oh, wow. smashing up equipment. Yeah. It was very well, like, so they took it to that violent level. music. Wow, yeah, like, okay. it was very violent music. Like right. even in the the seventies, they used to go crazy and smash mm. up the gaffs and wow. Yeah. See, in 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 like come from the music that I liked from the seventies, it was more the the sort of scar and the. Uh, and uh, and that kind of uh, like um, two tone vibe, do you know what yeah. I mean? Like uh, madness was coming, yeah, come madness, out of the era. Was, yeah. um, the specials, I love the specials. Yeah. I mean, I and was young. Isn't there sort of like 
parallels though between the punk scene and the ska scene. It was kind of yeah. like but ska was a bit more sort of mixed, mm. wasn't it? It was like yeah. a kind of a hybrid. Well, a, 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 from what I remember, it was like kind of a, a mix of like the, the cultures, the two cultures, like sort of I suppose like Jamaican culture and yeah. the UK culture. I don't want to get right. hounded out for this, but that's my understanding from a kid. Yeah, it was like a, a like a, a mix because it had that kind of reggae sort of yeah. influence to it but it was mm. like kind of uh, so it's Scar it's Scar, Scar. Scar just saying, is that the name of the music Scar was, yeah, okay. the, was the music okay. but so what it is is when when I was growing up you was either like you was either a, a mod or a casual do you remember the mods or the yeah, casual I remember the mods I heard about like, it yeah. that was deep the mods though yeah. like, I, thought, <laughs> well, I watched that film as yeah. well. oh, oh, that film, yeah. bro that yeah, film yeah, is yeah, hard with Sting in it and it stings in the film let me tell you something have you seen it did you watch it when you were a kid or have you watched it lately? Not no, watched, I it, watched lately. it when I was a kid. Right, younger. don't watch. Please don't watch it now. Yeah, it will ruin it. You it, think? Yeah, it will ruin it. I watched it maybe five years ago, and I was telling yeah. my kids, "This film, yeah. listen, you need to see this. <laughs> this was my <laughs> yeah. youth." And then I yeah. sat there, and they were like, "This is shit, Dad." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah, like, yeah. I was like, "Babe," and it actually, like, I actually thought, "Bloody hell!" Some like, films don't age well. I'm not saying that one doesn't because it is yeah. considered a cult classic. Oh, it, it was. A, for me but when amazing. you was watching yeah. it what did you when you're re-watching it you oh, still well, I, 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 got that. I still see myself as a little fat kid trying to fit into a suit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, into it, a when it mods and rockers yeah rockers. yeah yeah but we were yeah. like the, the, the rockers never washed yeah. oh really yeah they never but the, the mods did yeah my dad my dad was a mod was your what my dad was a mod didn't he oh was he he yeah. told yeah. me one time I said what was you mod or you definitely a mod yeah they used to shave all their head and all that no that would have been that would have been the scarfing oh, okay. I think that would have been more in the scarfing oh, okay. but the mods uh, the mods were like kind of had kind of similar haircuts to what they got now you know right. they're like straight fringes okay. and all that okay um, but um, that what was, was it, a style of dressing or yeah yeah like yeah, a, yeah yeah you had, yeah. like you had to have three button suits I always remember like this is mad uh, this is a mad story but um, no one knows this set because I didn't even I wouldn't dare and tell my mates when I was young <laughs> but I said to my mum mum uh, like everyone's going to the dance at the weekend and I, I need a suit I was like about bloody 12 years old and she yeah. was like what do you need a suit and I was like mum please I need a suit so we went down to the charity shop right and she bought there was this suit and I'm not joking you it was the most rancid suit <laughs> colour you'd oh. ever see. it was like tweedy but not even nice tweed it was horrible right. yeah. and it was like about a pound <laughs> right so she's like well I'm going to get you this and I was like I started crying I'm not going to wear that everyone's yeah. going gonna, everyone's gonna to bully me and yeah, yeah, she went yeah. don't worry about it don't worry about it I'll sort it and she put it in the wash with loads of black dye and I had the sickest yeah. black suit <laughs> I stepped out, man. I was like, mm, mm. I was in the dance, doing my little dance. I love that, that, man. Bruv, it was and it wicked. Was, and the music he was sort of going out to was Scar too. Yeah, time. it was like it was kind of like uh, the, uh, who who would have been around in them days? Uh, well, artist wise, I know about the specials, isn't it? Like, yeah, no. Even after the, the I mean, um, the Clash. The I guess who, that's more the punk. Who, the Who was was uh, was like they done they were, I think they had done loads of music in the yeah. film. Right, Wasn't okay. your dad like linked with the Who? Um, uh, no, he, it was Sex. It was like Sex Pistols, but he he was like in that punk era. There, it was kind of like. The eighties, the late, the late seventies. Yeah, 80s. that was it. This was in the eighties. Yeah. yeah. So the thing with the punks was what you know from what I've seen back in the day. People, it's Johnny Rotten, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, you had, yeah, uh, yeah. had your film Sid and Nancy as yeah, well, yeah. which Sid was vicious. Sid yeah. vicious, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And it was they just weren't taking no prisoners. They'd no. go on TV because they were so yeah. big. They got the chance to go on TV and mainstream. Yeah, and they just yeah. swear. Yeah. And yeah. back then, swearing on TV even now is considered yeah, one yeah, thing. But like back then, it was a big thing. And also, you remember their album cover? Yeah. Never mind the bollocks. Yeah, yeah. It's the Sex Pistols. Imagine like even now if you saw that if yeah. Shabba put out uh, Shabba's got a new thing and he's like Shabba never mind the bollocks yeah, you'd yeah. think like Ross Shabba's on a mad thing bro <laughs> yeah, yeah. so imagine back then in like yeah. probably the early 80s yeah. late 70s how shocking was controversial, how shocking man. that was and how rebellious yeah. that was man that was proper rebellious and then I'm just trying to think after that um, then you had like so then you had the casuals and the casuals kind of led in towards the sort of mid to late 80s, which led into the football hooliganism thing. So would you say Motown was co controversial because of the way that it w it come across or it's totally different? Like, because they but, was fighting against different you well, know, black music. And I think like that, that would have been more I, from, you know, I wasn't around in them days. Yeah. And it's only from watching documentaries. Was that, 60s, I think. that would have been around 60s, the 60s, 70s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But the thing is, is like they were probably fighting oppression. So yeah. they were they yeah. were kind of like trying to sort of be heard. Well, yeah, I think yeah. I think from my understanding of, of a label like Motown is they was really like fighting to get on mainstream radio and stuff. Yeah. And and because it was so segregated back then in terms of the races, people 
love the Motown music, but they'd hide their records in their house yeah, and yeah, yeah, they'd be almost shit, ashamed yeah. to, to like it. Or, it was controversial then, But the music they was making was very, very nice on it. It was more pop. And then you had a label called Stax, which was more the sort of maybe more the, 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 the I don't know how to say it man not the rebellious sound but a more sort of edgy sound that right. edgy, yeah. an edgy sound yeah. mm-hmm. do you know what I'm saying and so you, remember, you probably heard the tune Soul Man Sam and Dave that oh, come yeah. out on that label but oh, loads okay. of other stuff come out on the label. Wilson Pickett and loads yeah. of you know people that wasn't on Motown that were yeah. doing it a little bit more edgy with yeah. the sound do you know what I mean I think Otis Redding maybe as well yeah. so if you think about it you've got like sort of like uh, punk well now going back to the 50s like yeah. rock and roll um, yeah. And then the 60s would be, would you say the flower power was rebellious? I mean, it was kind of chill. In its own way, because them lot was trying all the hallucinogenics yeah, and yeah. You know, look at even the Beatles, bruv. Like, they might, yeah. Their music might not have been that, but what they was, you know, the, the, some of the hidden messages yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah. Popularity as well and, always brings that as well. When they're yeah. more popular than, you know, they get more attention than the government. Yeah. And that's sort of the thing with yeah. the Pistols and, and, and the Beatles. I yeah. remember there was all over the place. Just, yeah. All of a sudden, just blew up. Yeah, on and a different, they're, they're, yeah, they're, different. When you've got that. a voice that just like everyone's listening to the government, and then people get a bit prang, in it. Yeah. yeah, and obviously the Beatles were very much against war and all those kind of things. Yeah. So and no, that's, well, that give peace a chance. That would have led into that that flower power thing, innit? Yeah, uh, yeah. That, but um, so you you'd have that from the sixties. So seventies, the punk. So that band you was with in um, Japan when yeah. you were done the Japan were, were they punk? Influence? Yeah, it was punk rock. It yeah, was. It was mixed up, like, but it was based on punk. You had like members from all different bands like you had like Duffy from Guns N' Roses and you had like guys from different you know all these Black Sabbath and these guys just come together and just form a band but it was kind of just a mixed energy I had some hip hop guys in there Mm. so it was just a mixed energy but the music was punk yeah Yeah. because in Japan it's never died out there yeah is it still it's still popular the main music out there even now do you know what I mean they're like rock and punk crazy yeah. out there. Mm. They got what? all the, the stuff from the seventies, the the merchandise. They sell it all out there. If you think about like sort of how producers are now, where they'll sit in their bedroom with just little keyboards this mm. size, and then like their monitors, and they'll make a big record. Yeah. And back then, you had to be in your garage with a guitar yeah, and a drummer, yeah. and got to record the bass, uh, got to yeah. record the the treble. It's everything's mad. like you have man playing the drums, and then they mix it all together. Like us, we you, yeah. you just program and then get a mix down from a master mm, yeah. with them it's just they have to play the actual yeah. in thing and then they have to record it and yeah. then they master it you well, know it, what I'm saying it's my, my mate Martin Eichen, um like big up to him he he's he was in a band he had a, mm. his own band and I, I was watching them one day and they were rehearsing and I couldn't believe how they were all so in sync with each other yeah man that's, yeah. That, that's, that's the sign of a really yeah. good band tempo man and I was yeah. like but I remember like, actually going to uh, London Records uh, with with their thing, do it, yeah. trying to trying to get them a it's deal. It's so deep. Really? Yeah. If you if you mess up, say you're the bass player, he's the drummer, I'm the lead vocalist. If you make one mistake, everything smashes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if you go off even one note, mm. like I did rehearsals and all that, and yeah. I see that I didn't know about all that. Yeah. But like you know, even now, like to rehearse, you probably just rehearse your songs and rap over it or whatever. But yeah, to actually play the instruments and see man doing that one mm. mistake, and if you if you don't come in on time, that man's messing up. That man's messing yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing just is a shambles. That's yeah, yeah. I heard that's a skill, you know. Yeah, pressure, bro. It's pressure, bro. And yeah, that's why you have to bring your A game, and that's why, why you know that's you have to be rehearse. a top top boy in yeah. certain bands I'm and stuff. You, do you know I'm what I mean? Like, I heard James Brown would even fine his musicians if they if they were like they did something that was awful or it kept happening. Yeah, you can't be doing that. You've yeah. got to like this has got to be the biggest thing out here. Yeah, do you know what seven I mean? Days a week, like, they're rehearsing and they're, and they're just playing the same thing over and over and over again until they mm. get it bang on. Yeah, and they can do it without the script or. It's, do you yeah. know it's mad? Like you see, like when we go out to to perform, like what we do is like we. You know, we pretty much always try to put like new tunes in. You obviously mm. have some tunes yeah. like that our own tunes that will always like be keys yeah. parts of our yeah. sets, and maybe an intro we'll use for a few months or whatever. Mm. But the bands they'll literally have their 10, 15 track yeah. lit, and it will just be bam. They're just yeah, the same. Yeah. same yeah. As, because you record what you've recorded, like say that like you've got an album and you go and perform that mm. album live. You gotta get that bang on. There's fans yeah. that listen to that, and yeah. like, oh, that keys out. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you just right. be like, you get what I mean. Like you said, it's pressure, and yeah, there's a lot of pressure in that, man. Well, you know, you said about sorry, um, you know, you yeah. said about um, that they used to smash up uh, back in the '70s, yeah, and they were smashing it. I got a story, right? Mm. So, do you remember Toronto? Was you there that time when um, 
Uh, I don't know if it's slip out. I don't want to put slip out. Throw him under a bus. But one of them guys, like, is he was slip out of vibes or something. They all went over there, yeah. and they all went rock and roll in the hotel. And started mashing nah, the hotel yeah. through the through the telly out the window. Really? Oh like, no, no, mate! I, I was just like, there, you mate. weren't there. Nah. Are you sure? <laughs> no, I <went> there. <laughs> but I was just like. I was just like, what are you doing, man? Like, you can't, we ain't, they ain't us rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, punk yeah. in them, man. Yeah, man. they might have, yeah. they might have. If it yeah. weren't Slip Matt, sorry, Matt, but I'm pretty sure you, anyway. Yeah, because like, obviously, <laughs> you know, the first people I saw doing mad stuff like that was like the Beastie Boys you mentioned yeah, earlier yeah, and Run yeah. DMC. I remember they was like, they'd do a show and then just throw cars over yeah. in the middle of the street. So they was, was mad, the Beastie Boys. What? I was <laughs> bang on them. Yeah. Like, that was because I grew up on the reggae thing and probably like pop and whatever it was. I don't even think I listened to music before that, to mm. be honest with you. Beastie Boys was the first, apart from all the, the stuff your mum plays. Yeah, yeah, plays, yeah, yeah. Beastie Boys was the ones that got me. Mm. Yeah. Like, when they, they started doing the Volkswagen. Yeah, were they? Yeah. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, so, they, so, had them, so they would wear was, Volkswagens around it, yeah, just so people know, right? Off cars, bro. So like, basically, for those who don't know out there, what yeah. the Beastie Boys used to do, rather than wear, like a lot of rappers back in, they would wear gold chains, like yeah. Run DMC, LL Cool yeah. J, and those guys. But the Beastie Boys, they would take, like, literally steal a Volkswagen sign, yeah. not even a Mercedes yeah. sign, they'd take yeah, a Volkswagen, yeah. Volkswagen sign yeah. and put it around their neck. And that was attainable. Yeah. So yeah. I used to get all the youths going out and nicking the Volkswagen signs and putting it on a chain, man. them up, man. put them in metal and clean them all up so they're crystal clear. You know what? The funny thing yeah. is, you walk along the road, you see, you, you see all, the, all the cars missing the, the yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember no, that as a kid, Brooklyn, man. man. That tune there, like when I heard that, I yeah. was like, yeah, I think it was the album or whatever, that, that main album there, the No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Yeah, this when, album was called yeah. License to Ill. Yeah, see, that, oh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. License yeah. to Ill. And, and, yeah. and they had quite an iconic picture of a plane crashing on a cover. I think it was crashing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah what I'm that's saying? right. Yeah, I've still got Beastie that. Boys. I've still got that big. album. And do you remember their videos as well? Like, what was crazy about them is they would all, all kind of crazy stuff yeah, going in the videos. Yeah. They had one show called Party for Your Right to Fight. Oh, yeah. And it was always just about throwing stuff, drinking loads of drinking loads of beer. They go on stage drinking beer, like just doing madness, you know what I mean? And that wasn't the standard thing for rappers back then. That's what I'm saying. So were they... Were they respected by the hip hop? You know, they actually was because they was actually rolling with Run DMC and they yeah, was they was on Def Jam, which was Run the label. I went on from them to Run DMC because Run obviously yeah. like not being a hip hop man and hearing that shit for the first time, I was like, "Yo, man, this is the this is yeah. the jam." You know yeah, what I mean? It's yeah. Sick. It, that, don't forget when we were that, that would have been when we was all at school. Yeah. yeah. So that would have been the thing that everyone was talking about in yeah, school at the time. Do you know definitely. what I mean? Run like, DMC was just like another thing. Run DMC did as well. They they used to wear their trainers with no laces and yeah. things like that, yeah. just to be different. Yeah. And ended up getting a public massive enemy, deal Public enemy. See, I was going to say them yeah, because yeah. that was my public real clocks, group. Isn't it? That public was more enemy. so. Yeah. I knew about the Beastie Boys. My, like, you know, my older stepbrother and that was more into the Beastie Boys. And then I got into Run DMC. But yeah. Public Enemy was my group, man. Flavor, flavor. They were proper rebellious, bro. The stuff they were talking about. I mean, they had a tune called Fight the Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a massive song. Did they get shut down from playing that? Was no, they, was no, no, that, no. You talk about NWA, like oh, right, okay. the police. But yeah, Public Enemy, man. It was like when they come to the UK, they come on stage of an army. Yeah, it's called the S1W. Oh, they had their own security oh, system. Oh, was that that concert? Was you, yeah, so yeah. it was uh, November the 1st, 1986 at the Hammersmith Odeon and I was there. Yeah. And I remember I went with my mates like from the estate and like we went up there and I remember LL, it was LL Cool J, Public Enemy, and Eric B and Rakim. Ah, see, I didn't and, go to that one. I went to another one, but yeah. And uh, like I remember when LL Cool J come on and started doing that because he just released that Lady I need, Lover. I need love. I need yeah, love. Yeah. The whole place was boo yeah, yeah, and throwing yeah. things out. And I was there going, I need love. love. <laughs> <laughs> he was loving it. <laughs> well, I, I didn't know that it wasn't cool. I just knew that I liked yeah, the song, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But then as soon as I see everyone booing, I was like, yeah, boo. <laughs> Man. <But> anyway, <laughs> in a sense, though when you think about it LL was almost like being rebellious making a tune like that because yeah. it wasn't you yeah. weren't supposed to do that back nah. then back then it was all about tunes like I'm Bad yeah. do you know what I mean Party for Your Right to yeah. Fight Fight the yeah. Power yeah. it was all hard oh, do you know yeah. what I mean it weren't like he did, I, he did I Need Love yeah. KRS1 innit oh mate come on he, another uh, one yeah he's in, so I kind of like went from the Run the MC to that to KRS One and then yeah man he started doing ragga over hip hop that's what got yeah me. like I was like right okay. this guy's yeah KRS One was on that he man was on oh, the was bashment tip. Like, not bashment but he was kind of putting that reggae you know, the, reg the bridge yeah. is over the bridge is over but bye bye yeah, the bridge yeah, is yeah, over okay. so he'd yeah, use yeah, certain yeah. thing and the yeah. rhythms were yeah. and you could tell KRS loved like the yeah. you know the bashment vibes yeah, yeah. he bought yeah. more as, as he got old, he got bought he brought in a guy called Mad Lion years later who yeah. was sick and yeah. But it's wow, mad, yeah, how that, uh, how through the times of rebellious oh, music has evolved. Two live crew? 
Oh, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's they were rebellious, though. Well, they, they? they were super controversial well, because yeah. they, you know, Public Enemy, let's just say they were the political group, yeah, talking a lot of stuff on that side of things. Two Live Crew were just doing mad sex yeah, stuff. Yeah, there was a sex stuff. Oh. Do you they know what I mean? girls up on stage, taking yeah. the tops off. It was oh, crazy. I think um, my, my mum banned me from watching that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but, but they was the ones in America. They really went after them in America more Did so they? than any. Because yeah. you know, obviously in America, there's, there's a Christian Bible Belt that are very much, yeah. you know, yeah. and they really they was taking their records off the rack, smashing them in the street. And yeah. Luther Campbell, who was the main guy behind Two Live Crew, and they always re retained their independence. He become a spokesman for free speech at the time, uh -huh. yeah. saying this is freedom. I yeah. should be allowed to do what I want. Yeah. This, this over eighteen club, people should be able to come in. And yeah. it's like you know, and they obviously the whole point is, oh, you're showing minors this content. He goes, well, minors yeah. shouldn't be seeing it. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's another element yeah. that was. And definitely rebellious. rebellious but this would have been yeah. this would have been before the internet it would have oh, so way, the yeah, only way, way you would have got that is by watching like MTV or something like yeah, that right and, 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 and that shit anyway like that like shot said they they put a stop on that like yeah. I remember I don't, I don't even know about that but I just remember hearing they got banned. They yeah, well, they did. To perform live. But I think and, and, and it was so, you know, this is like the sort of thing I do, right? They got banned, but they did a tune called Banned in the USA. <laughs> they took the Born in the no USA way. and did Banned in the USA. Oh, That's what you got to do. Do you know what I mean? When something like that happens to you, you got to yeah. flip it and get a moment yeah, out of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or some more heat off it. And that's what they did. They was, they was trailblazers for that, man. And then yeah. obviously the, the big ones, I would guess after them would be NWA. Yeah. yeah. When I first heard them and, and Ice-T as well, yeah, because Ice-T yeah. Ice was, Ice-T was rebellious, but he was still sort of saying, don't do this, don't do that. He was telling you, this is how it is on the streets, but you shouldn't do it. Yeah. NWA was like, this is fucking how it is. And yeah. every every other word was swearing yeah, and the B yeah. word. And it was when I first heard that, yeah. straight out of Compton and then uh, F the police, I was yeah, like, see, God, yes. the game won't ever be the same. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was it's some like, serious stuff. It. Yeah, it's mad. It's it's like I think you know. I, do you obviously watch the films? You know, like yeah, I know, yeah, have you yeah. watched the documentaries that they've done? They've, like NWA. Yeah. Uh, what's what was the it? one with Jimmy Iovine and that one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it called? Um, that's lost good, ones. That. It's, yeah, that's, I can't think what it's called. It is called the Lost something. Yeah, it? yeah, oh, that's yeah. Terrible. Yeah, I can't. Like that was, series, I love it. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched that. It was mainly about Dre, wasn't it? And obviously Dre was a big, you know, the massive pivotal part of NWA. So trying to think. It's good when you watch things like that because, like, you know, like back in the day, you would never clock that, and then now you can actually like the film. You know that film with oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the same people in like yeah. NWA and all that. That was a wicked film. When I yeah. when I see that, you probably see things in that film that you would never know, like if you didn't follow it at the time. No, nah, for real. And that because Dre yeah. and like Ice Cube put that film together, Easy. obviously it's from their perspective. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. R.I.P. Easy man. He wasn't there to put his yeah. two cents in on it, but you know they were there. It was their group at the time, so they was able to make that film and document. He was it, the man. bad man, isn't it? Um, Easy, Easy, yeah. yeah. Easy was the one who, like, you know, he was basically funding it because he yeah. was seriously on the streets. streets yeah. And then one day they said to him, "Why don't you try rapping?" And he had to, he had to rap like in like sections, in it because he could, he yeah. could, he, he, he was always offbeat. Yeah. And obviously Ice Cube wrote his rhymes and Ren as well, do you know what I mean? He couldn't write yeah. his own raps at the time, but he sick. but he was living the life. Yeah. So and that's why I think he came out first as a solo yeah. artist and he was able to, you know, he was the he was the real one out of him. Yeah. Because yeah, Dre was, was already the, in yeah. music, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yellow was Ice Cube I think was studying architecture or something, yeah. do you know what I mean? I'm not sure about Ren, but mm. Easy he was the real authentic was, guy. But you know, it's actually cool. I've just checked it, is Defiant Ones. A Defiant Ones, yeah. yes. Oh. Yeah. Yes. And you know yes. what? It what I've watched it was actually yeah. Mackie that said to me yo bro you need to watch yeah, he said that to me as well and I'm yeah. normally on it but he was on that yeah. one early I yeah, yeah. that man I was on the air uh, listen, and I, I, st I started watching it about one in the morning and I texted him about five going <laughs> You if binged it. You've ruined. No, I only done two. I couldn't okay, do them yeah. all. I was like, "Bro, you've ruined." The next day's done because yeah. like, I was going to bed at five. Yeah. But um, one thing I did, watching that documentary, I didn't actually realize. Uh, how important people like Ren were because you know mm. like you kind of you're so focused on the main guys yeah the main yeah do you know what I mean and yeah. it's, it's it's so mad how and what I love is that, is that um, it was each one of them was that little bit of a jigsaw puzzle totally, to, to make that one question one question yeah do you think yeah while we're on that subject do you think that um, Easy e got jabbed with HIV, like oh, you think man. someone? Oh, I don't know. That's they should that, done that, it. That, that should a, done it. Yeah, the real. That, you know what it is. Like, there's a lot of talk yeah. on the internet about yeah. that man, really? especially when yeah. Suge said like he went on some TV program and said a madness about it as well. So he yeah. added he added fuel to the yeah, fire, and right. he had a big issue with Easy. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Some people are saying he got he got HIV. Like someone just jumped him with it. Yeah. Yeah. There's lots of talk. I mean, if you if you look on, you know, I'd encourage people to just look at what sort of bone fugs and harmony. 
have said that was a group Easy yeah, had signed because yeah, they've yeah. got their opinions on it. Yeah. Easy's children now are online, very vocal about are it, they, talking yeah. about it. Yeah, so I would yeah, just encourage people to have a look because I, I I couldn't say <laughs> either way. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? But no, was, I, I I I knew that's how he passed, but I I wasn't aware yeah. that 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 yeah happened. he was diagnosed and he died quite quickly, man. So there was a lot of questions yeah, yeah. surrounding it. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. so like <laughs> so obviously with what would you say it was that the nineties was that NWA came out. I think late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. Yeah. So then, like, would you say? I would say the the acid house stroke rave era mm. would have been the first from for the UK. For the UK definitely like after rebellious punk, music. Yeah, because I was thinking that's yeah. why I was going hmm because yeah. I was that's thinking similar, there was punk similar, yeah. and that and then what yeah. was there because everything you remember it was all like new age yeah. and all that stuff in the 80s no, it was quite like nothing really. Howard Jones and mm. not on that energy and not yeah. on that you know so that. I'm kind of thinking with the whole 80s was more of a a kind of a sort of a band thing going on with you know uh, was the, the, the 80s like more like sort nice of and, uh, Spandau Ballet yeah, and, yeah, and, wham, and the Arrhythmics and, and Wham yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. but that it was, was all it that was wasn't rebellious do you know what though bro that was a good no. pop era to me yeah, I like yeah, those songs was, yeah. I don't like Michael man Jackson oh, yeah. 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 I don't like yeah. manufactured pop music nah. but I, I actually like good pop music there's nothing wrong with yeah. a good pop tune I think in the 80s there were loads of good pop songs well the thing is is like if you there's so many channels and I often think this about our music like um um, you know, we've been doing it for a while in drum and bass, jungle, rave and everything. And when I, you know, like when you listen to the radio and a tune comes on, like uh, say on their heart eighties or one yeah. of those things and you're like, Oh, this is a tune. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, I, like there's, I tell you what, George Michael, um, I, the, he made some excellent songs, but it wasn't until as I, when I got a bit older, I listened to some yeah. of them and I was like, "Mate, this is so next Serious level guy. produced and and the yeah. the, the Most, lyrics and yeah. everything." And but when it come out and I was younger, I was like, mm, yeah, it was yeah, cause it, yeah, yeah, because you was looking for a rebellious music yeah. and Wham wasn't a rebellious yeah. group. Nah, that, was that, nah. that was for me. That was girls' music. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, but as as you grow older and you listen back, you yeah. can see yeah. the, the genius in it. And that's yeah. why you know what I mean, and especially George totally. Michael. Do you know what I mean? Some of the songs that I've you know, you know my wife loves his music, so I get to hear yeah. it every now and again. I'm yeah. like, oh, this is a bad boy. <laughs> That's what I'm but saying. I would never yeah. have listened to it. Yeah, no, no, because right. it's the not my like, everything is spot on. It's yeah. like, spot on. I yeah. think good music would never die. Well, and this, this was my point. Well. Is you see how like you'll listen to high eighties and you you just listen to I don't know Kiss or yeah. whatever Radio mm. One, and then a tune will come on. You'll be like, oh right, this is sick. I yeah, remember this. Classics. Yeah. But do you think in 2050 people are going to be listening back to what? the music what we like do you understand what I mean? yeah what yeah. is the rebellious music now what is the music that's kind of is it was it probably drill grime or drill Gr probably, it's definitely yeah. grime grime was yeah, so yeah. subversive to everything yeah. when like you know when i first heard what people like dizzy and you okay. know even early pay as you go what they were doing just the sound of the music and the bro, the way like you listen to stop that by dizzy how aggressive that yeah. record is it's yeah. like it's almost yeah. like a a punk attitude yeah. in grime because remember this yeah. it was like and what i loved about grime at the time was you had all the americans killing it with their big budget videos and everything yeah. else and grime went totally the away yeah. and got bigger than them over it. Yeah. Do you know it's what mad, I mean? It? it became the voice you know, of the youth. Yeah, because you, you remember there was a time when like the sort of hip hop, the American hip hop was just basically running everything like with Tim Westwood and that lot. Yeah. Just, and then I always remember listening to... Um, I think it was Wiley and he, I remember he'd done this lyric I, I don't know what the word is but I remember it repeated about six or eight times in a row it'd be like yeah. yo I'm walking down the road yo I'm walking down the road yo yeah. I'm walking down the road yeah no, I know what you mean I, know and what you I remember mean. thinking right I'm waiting for the next bit yeah, yeah. and then I just thought the next bit didn't come and he just starts spitting another thing. Yeah, I was like down the road with this girl and, and, and like, but what it is, is half hour later I'll be going, yo, I'm walking down the road. Yo, oh, and I was yeah, like, I know what you, you mean. He's yeah, stuck. Yeah, yeah, it's stuck. catchy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, and, and, I, I thought that was really clever. And, bruv, they created their own culture. I mean, shout out to Lord of the Mics as well. Yeah, oh, you know, watching it. those, you know, the early ones in the basement where like Kano was going at yeah, Wiley yeah, and that was sick. Scratchy versus Footsy. And, mm. you know, we used to get, this was, this was times when it was DVDs. We'd get them yeah. DVDs and throw them in because like battles, it was, it was yeah, just so eye opening, mm. man. And obviously yeah. they've kept them going as well. And there's been some legendary ones. But, you know, that to me was so, so edgy, yeah. man. So cutting edge Brilliant. and so yeah. new what Loved they it. did, man. Yeah, no. Obviously it came off the back of the garage thing at 140. 
Yeah. Yeah. You know, no, but, but you know, like you said, like battle raps and all that. Like if you're on MC, you like things like that. You like yeah. to see mm. the sport of it. The sport of it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like I've always. As like, long as it stays in the arena. Yeah. Like yeah. Sound, you know like, I was I mean? in the reggae thing, sound clashes, you know, man guy, you know, Ninja Man versus Supercat. Yeah. Like live on stage, yeah. like thousands of people. Like it was yeah. mad. Do you yeah. get me? Like yeah, it's the yeah, same yeah. thing. Like as an artist, you love that. To yeah. Watch that. So well, even the Bounty though, Killer and Beanie Man one. Yeah, Bounty Beanie, Cartel, Movado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes right back. Well, yeah, I only you know, know I mean? about Movado from being on the road with him. Yeah. <laughs> There's that. What's yeah. that tune? It's uh, on the CD. It's track four. Oh, oh, yeah. I love I that remember. song, man. That song is so bad. I can put on track four. Yeah. <laughs> I just love, That's I what you know it as, yeah. yeah I just know it's track four. I, I don't know what it is. Same album, isn't it? Sick, bro. It's so sick. But listen, you know, like rebellious music. Uh, like so we talk about the rave era because don't forget in the rave era there was like uh, when it kind of really acid exploded in 92 yeah. well, you know even Acid House and yeah. that was you know that came Warehouse warehouse, yeah the yeah. warehouse things that was obviously like really jungle illegal techno, like, yeah. yeah and then it moved into the jungle techno into the Hardcore into jungle. the the rave yeah. and that but what what I what I found was I remember at the time the country was going through a recession okay. and what happened is I just felt that everybody was like they've had such a crap week they just wanted to go out on the weekend and yeah. just like let loose let yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and let go and that, and that and then what happened is obviously the, the Sun newspaper come out and done the White Wolf and thing yeah, which is like yeah. a famous thing and like you know loads of people spa like spaced out in a warehouse <laughs> yeah. and, and I looked at that and I remember thinking next week's going to be rammed yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean yeah. that was rebellious that, that's yeah. when I kind of got into the rave scene and mm. It was like you had to meet your mate and then That's go right. to a phone box. Yeah. That's like, exciting. Man. Go to a phone box. We ain't yeah. got, I said, like, come, just come. Yeah. Boom. And then he, he gets the information. Yeah, meet me at this point. Yeah. And then they meet up and then they go to some rave in the field. Like, yeah. I'm like, wow. Like, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. When I was 16. I was just like, you know what I mean? Where am I? Do yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, yeah. That's the first sort of like rave like Nathan Way Plumps did. That was controversial because that day, yeah. that day they was getting thousands of people. Yeah. Mm. And a lot of people was, you know, experiencing drugs for the first time and yeah. things like that. They was mm. putting it all over the news. I remember. Yeah. So that was probably. So that was definitely start. a rebellion. Time, Compared and, the and then and then what happened was then like after that I think um, like obviously when jungle come and and then there was a different type of explosion. Yeah, oh, do you know yeah, what that I mean? Was because, the dark side of it. And yeah, like, but like, and then what it is is like that's that's definitely a rebellious music. You yeah, know what I mean? Because yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that didn't conform to anything. Because if you think about it, you see grime. Yeah. I think what they that got was before. Then, what, no, it? no, yeah. that was way before grime. Yeah. But you see what happened is like with grime and garage. What I think they got right was the tempo. Yeah. Because that tempo is easier on the yeah, ear, and yeah. the radio can jump on it. But when we got aiming breaks at like yeah. you know one sixty. 165, 170, mm. going, yeah, like radio yeah, yeah, ain't yeah. playing that. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? That's, so, that's what made the music rebellious then. Yeah. That's what made it stand out. And that's what yeah. made kids who want who did want something different. They didn't want what was on the radio. They wanted to yeah. go out on the weekend yeah. and hear something different. And but what you did get was you got all the rare groove samples or you got the reggae samples yeah. or yeah. the hip hop samples yeah. that's what that you could relate to. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. what drove them into yeah. the jungle. Yeah. yeah. And then I think, honestly, my opinion, it was the noises that drove them out. But yeah. it, there was yeah. a lot of trouble. Mm. Yeah, there was a no, lot there of was, yeah, there was. It was silly. Yeah. Like, mm. no, I'm talking 96, yeah. 97. Mm. Yeah. Maybe 95. Was there was a lot of trouble. It's, it's snuck in in 95. Well, 95 is when Alex Reese done that uh, Pulp Fiction yes. and that hard step yes. kind of come in. It was yes. trying to sort okay. of. So it might have been 94 then, 94. Mm. Yeah, it was 94. Yeah. Like all that era there. Like, and then 97 come. And I remember, because I remember this clear. And I was like, right, I might have to go and get a job. Like seriously, the first time I was just starting well, out. Because the dances like, were getting banned. It was just getting dark. Yeah, and it, it was, was getting, getting everything dark was getting shut and down. It split. The scene split. Yeah. Mm. The scene split from yeah. the ragga lot over here, the yeah. jungle is over mm. here, and then over here. Drum, yeah. Like drum and bass went yeah. this way, or the dark right. sounds and okay. the yeah, dark yeah, yeah. But I agree with you. I agree with you about the dark thing because I felt that like towards the late nineties, I felt the music lost its soul. It did. And like it, it was a time when I like was just like, you know, like when I was going in the studio, I just had no vibe whatsoever because, yeah. you know, you're, you're listening to all the, the songs that are out at the moment and then people are like playing and going mad and they're good quality. Yeah, and, you yeah. know, the, the definitely the quality stepped up yeah. because back mm. then we were just throwing anything in. Yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we were yeah. timing up. Yeah. What do you mean timing yeah, up? Yeah, it sounds yeah. good as it is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But, um, but the thing is like after Jungle... Like when that jungle era, it, like it split. when it's what it all split up, but 
What's been the next rebellious music since then? Because that's what we said it. Yeah. Yeah, Graham. Graham. Yeah. Okay. So then yeah. Graham. So after Graham, what's then? It's got to be like uh, drill. Was hip hop like come back again after that? Like the Rick Ross thing? Would you say that was like before the yeah? Uh, but the drill that wouldn't thing? have been like because for the UK rebellious. No. No, I think they kind of. I think they'd clocked on to yeah. what could sell and what yeah. you know. Audiences around the world would gravitate to in terms of listening and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I don't think drill, it was, it's got to be drill. I think it? drill yeah, I because think I was waiting for drill. Drill yeah. was like remember drill was originated in Chicago. Yeah, people no like way. Chief Keith and people Chief like that. Keith, so that's yeah. the original oh, thing. Oh, I because I, I clocked it when I used to do my workshops in um in Middle Park. Shout out to the Middle Park crew. They suddenly started bringing in all these Chief Keith tunes. Yeah, and I, you know yeah. I liked some of them, but like yeah, it wasn't really yeah. my vibe. And man. is it was, that, was it was he? It's, it's original drill vibes, man. That's but where it comes yeah. from. Music wise, was it the same as what they do here? Similar, but we had put our own spin on it. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. we've got our own spin on it over here. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah. Well, and then from there, yeah. exactly. And then yeah. they, they got the Brooklyn drill thing. They picked up on what we was doing over here, yeah. and people like Pop Smoke and that started to work with UK drill producers. Oh. And that's how you but got the American yeah. accent on it. You know what I mean? And then and that and obviously now drills. Massive, yeah, 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 in the states yeah. and over. Here. Oh, is this big over in America as well? It's huge, well, it's oh, gang, it's gang okay. affiliated as well. Like a lot yeah. of that music. That's why it's, it's, you say it's rebellious music because there's a lot of, you know, it's south, east, west, north. This bad man, that crew, this crew, that crew. Yeah. In the drill, I've seen that yeah. like tenfold. Yeah, you know, you might get it in certain other yeah. scenes, and yeah. it's only a little thing. But with a drill, you're like, oh, who's this? Who's that? Yeah, like there's some website, and you just go on there, all the latest drill shit. And oh, do you know what? I know you're man. talking. About, is there that guy that sits in the studio, and he has them all? Um, he has them in the other room. I can't remember, but it's a really nice. No, nah, it's not that. Not that. No, no. no you know, it's, I'm talking it's, about. It's like a, yeah, it's, it's an Instagram like UK drill. And then, like, they've got hundreds, like, hundreds of thousands of followers. Right, but okay. You just go on there and see all the latest, you know, the little clicks and whatever, yeah, yeah. And the little tunes they show you snippets. And I was just flicking through it, and I was like, rah, man, this is mad. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Crazy. Crazy. So the origins of Drill, obviously, like you're saying, is very gang-orientated yeah, yeah. with the lyrics and stuff. But because the sound got so popular with young yeah. people, now you've got people doing the Drill sound that are definitely not talking yeah, that talk yeah, yeah, yeah. do you know what I'm so saying have, have, like have, RD for instance oh, yeah. he just makes party music yeah. but essentially the drum programming and the music is pretty yeah. much drill so isn't would would you say like would would drill be like the, the programming for people that don't know what drill is because I know there'll be people listening uh, that don't understand the different genres uh, mm. uh, of the music but is drill like a, a, another form of trap is it got similar yeah like things? you said it evolves isn't it like hip hop mm. Trap, yeah. drill, it all kind so of trap, evolves and trap keep moving. Like, let, let me get it. I, I, I don't know what my, I make of trap is like. It's like the bad man shot in music. I don't know, like trap ass shit. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like that. It's like, that. It's like yeah. music like T.I. and the Man yeah. in America and there's, there's other people, Money Bag, Yo. And Why is it called of trap? America, because they're in a the trap ass or like... Kind, it's that yeah, trap it's music, that, Three Six Mafia yeah, back in the day, you know. Shotting, you know, like I make, you know, you know, showing how much you got or how much you make from the road and then you pull it into like music. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like so, Spear Shot was just like, that's yeah. what I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you get what I mean? And mainly it come from the sort of Southern side of America okay. yeah. Atlanta and yes. oh, down okay. south and them sort of places down it wasn't south, really a yeah. New York thing but then yeah. because it got so big the New York they man started doing it a bit yeah. as well do you yeah. know what I'm saying yeah, what happened own. to that guy do you remember that guy um, with the mad colour hair was... Lil John no, is that you? Lil John <laughs> Uh, uh, no, you're talking about Takashi, man. I, I thought you meant Little John because Little John's considered oh, Takashi, to he, he bought yeah. that kind of trap. Okay, so what was what the, was the, to, is it Takashi? Takashi Six Nine. Yeah, yeah, what happened? Oh, what's, yeah, what's, he's what's, about what, still. What, he's, what music he's still is about? He? Yeah, what music was he? I, I guess he was making drill, man. I was really yeah. shouty, kind yeah. of yeah. really aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. drill, man. But I remember when he was a lot of gang talking. Blowing up, man, on online, and I just remember. I think I said, "Yeah, have you seen this geezer?" And you, you was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of him." And I was like, "All right, cool." But he was quite entertaining man like you know I was just looking at him thinking how is he going to get away with all this how is he going to get away with it and he, yeah. he didn't he, yeah. he got he got effed up in the end yeah. really yeah. he's lucky to huge, huge be alive case. well he, you know everyone knows he had to talk to, yeah, to yeah. be free and a lot of people went down oh yeah. shit yeah, okay. so he can't really uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. he can't really walk around every time I see him on the net he's with security he has, has to, to, he has to. Yeah, he oh has really to. Yeah, okay yeah. I haven't seen him on the net for a while I, that's why I, I've said do you remember that guy yeah a little pump on all them that's like is that drill or is that like a new I guess they was making drill Banging, yeah, 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 yeah. But that, that, yeah, again, the little pump stuff, it weren't really the gang stuff, it was, yeah, not, yeah, they were just, talking about Gucci and just yeah. Yeah, whatever, yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? Nice, no, mad. Um, so what is what's what would you say now 
is the rebellious music. I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking this myself. What is the rebellious music now? I think it's coming. I don't think there's, I think, I think most of the stuff now has almost been done. Yeah. And it's like now people are working to, uh, this is just my personal view, man. A lot of times now people are just working to formulas. Yeah. They're seeing what works with streaming. Yeah. They're seeing what works with collaborations. They're seeing what works mm. with videos. They're, they're just studying the game now. Too many people now are studying the game yeah. rather than just creating. Creating. And that's why a lot of stuff seems forced to me now. And a lot yeah. of stuff does sound the same. Yeah. Mm. Because they're not creating in the next rebellious way it will come yeah there'll be someone sat somewhere who will make the next rebellious music because it always it always will come i think like i don't think there's much rebellious music out there right now no i think reggae reggae is come on like like, dance was very slack like it went through a stage 2010 to 2020 it's just so slack yeah it's just all guns it's all about you know tits and ass yeah I'm going to do this. It is very slack. Like, yeah. if you play that music, you couldn't play it to anybody because you're hearing swearing, you're hearing bear. Yeah. Like, how do these tunes, you get what I mean? Mm. But they're just a community that's... And then when yeah. it hits the radio, they, they mute out the, the words or whatever. I've heard yeah. tunes, it's, the whole tune's muted. Yeah. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Uh, well, do you know what? I've got a few tunes that are called instrumentals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, though, Shabs. You know I, 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 I remember when I, was, when I was younger, people used to get me to like set up my little turntables at parties and DJ and that. I know I couldn't DJ like you, man, but you know what I mean? Just house party vibes. And uh, I remember doing something for my dad once, a barbecue, man, and put on Ride, they put on it. Oh, and, like, oh the Jamaican God. women in there were telling me to take it straight off. Serious? And I was like, turn yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's filth. <laughs> yeah, so that, I better, yeah, better take yeah. off <laughs> Ride the Punani. Bag, was it Bag of Worries and made yeah, that rhythm? Bag of worries, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh get that one God. off there but I remember them slackness days because yeah, yeah, that's the times I love the record isn't it them it times like, you know what I mean like when they started doing <laughs> how it, it old were like, you they just let them do it 13. 11, 12, 13 <laughs> something like that I mean they got punished people you know there was a lot of controversial stuff but would you bunt on you know they banned him from England for 30 oh, years yeah, 25 he, years he still can't come can he no well yeah. I think it's over now but I mean even Shabarang's um, back in yeah, the day got Shabba, caught up in a madness yeah, in uh, Bokas, yeah. Ninja Man all them there was this like so slack man I was watching it I was just like Popcorn eating, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I was just yeah. loving it, but yeah. later thinking about it now, I mean, like, you couldn't play that in front of your kids or, yeah, nah. yeah. you know, I mean, I've got my daughter in the car or whatever, or my, my kids in the car and I'm playing Bashment, it's just bare swearing, bro. I yeah. just, just like, Turn it off. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just changed the music, man. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know? Yeah, it's but, mad. Yeah. So, so basically, there's no rebellious music around at the moment because I actually. Well, drill, drill's still here. Well, I mean, but it, what it is, is it's happened, it's yeah. happening, it's happened. So, be, the the future, future, the there will be something. Think, man. What's yeah. the next There'll be so something. Listen, producers, MCs, come on, man. We need you to create the next rebellious music. It might be that. Send it. What was that thing the other day? That ammo piano. That might be the next. Oh, next, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Concert, yeah, yeah, day, yeah that, that, actually, yeah, that, that's, man. That's definitely. What, do you got, know? Is that like Afro Afro beats? Um, yeah, I think it's just like someone said it was Afro it's beats. Like, yeah, it's like harmonies over Afro. Yeah, it's like Afro beats with yeah. a little. Some melodies in it. I can't explain it. I need to. Like, I, I need to check because because the next rebellious music doesn't necessarily have to be something that's political, yeah. or, or gang orientated, or, no, or, no, or something that's got lots of swearing in it. It yeah. could be something that's going against the grain musically. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah, know what I mean? They're yeah, saying, nah, yeah. fuck the status quo, we're going to do something totally yeah, different. Totally, so it could yeah. be that. Or you know like, what I mean? you know, the wrong crowds follow it. Do you know what I mean? And that's, that's. I'm not saying it's the, you know, it's most of the times when the wrong crowds follow our music, then the government get onto it and band it. Oh, that can't go in the club. Mm. And even, even the Soul Solid days, like, like mm. going back, like the Garage days, that got dark. Yeah. I remember them banning them from everywhere yeah. on stage. I heard a rumour that even used to say that you can't play Power by Lethal Bizzle in the club at one point. Really? Club because, I mean? because the reaction to the it reaction, was so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they didn't want that in the club, you know what I mean? It? That's then, mad. You've got the whole, you know, the so whole... So what, like, what, what's cool these days? What's cool? What's cool these House. days? House. House, yeah. House is cool. That yeah. kind of ghetto house, yeah. Yeah, it's ghetto house. Like, there's yeah. a ghetto side to it. There's a, probably about four or five sides to it, like the American side. House like, has got so many genres and I so many. I'll be honest with you, I have all the musics. If you're going somewhere and you know that like, you can only listen to a music for like an hour or half an hour, if mm. D&B man are like that, like maybe if you go to a hip hop concert, you could listen. But I don't think no one wants to hear the same music all night. But so, like, techno, I can't stand. I'm not no disrespect to any techno yeah. guy yeah, out there, but yeah, I yeah. can't listen to that more than an hour. Like, yeah, mm. it yeah. just does my head in. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I think with the house, yeah, but if you take talk. wait, if you take one of these, <laughs> 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 no, but you know what I mean. Like you can talk over house. We could go out and it was like, yeah. Boom. 
Yeah, it's, conversate. It's, yeah, I don't you conversate. Do you know what it is in me with house, yeah? Because I, I really like soulful house, for instance, yeah, and yeah. I like a lot of the stuff that I be for kind of chill out vibes yeah, and all that. I like, I like that music, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. What I don't like is more the trance and the hard. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when it's like that, a mate took yeah. me to Fabric once. He's a house it's like techno. It's like he took techno. me there, man. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was nearly crying, bro. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. That's how much stiff music. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, see, I, 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 you know, obviously. Four to the floor is called, that sort of Yeah, four to the floor. Yeah, that. There is so many different types of house. It's like, you know, I remember. Uh, Martin Eichen was playing some music and I was like it sounds like Garage and yeah. he was like it isn't Garage yeah, yeah. It's, and he uh, what do they call it um, Deep House okay. yeah, I was like yeah, well, yeah. it's Garage it's got the Garage that's why I quite like Deep House as well yeah it's, and it's like, he was, I like Garage isn't it? they've got like a street element to it where like a lot of the rude boys go to but it's not they ain't on a bad vibes to be yeah. to be fair I went to a couple of them raves that my friends put on them parties and when I went there I was like Hold on a minute. I must got my watch and my chain. But <laughs> 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 like, 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 seriously, Ruth yeah. was like, Are you all right, mate? Yeah. Sweet, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was like, rah. This is it's the music. Yeah, this, um, did, 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 wasn't it like that back happy. in the day as yeah, well? When, I, when, I, when, I, when yeah. I've seen certain films, like yeah. might be like an Essex Boys or something yeah, like that, yeah. like, that they sort of see how like the football hooligan yeah, guys yeah. always doing pills yeah, and sort of yeah. being all lovey dovey with each I, other well, and catching I, a vibe. I, I always remember I went. It was Paul Ibiza yeah. and when uh, when he done the fantastic Ibiza and he was doing it with Phil Desire and they run an event in King's Cross on Go Goods Way mm. and I remember Paul was at the door and he was like uh, fifteen quid each or two for twenty five. So you even if you didn't know something, go do you want to go? Yeah, 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 and yeah, they yeah. just to get it, yeah, a fiver yeah, off. Yeah. They were just there. He stacks of money in his hand, going through. Everyone's like, "You right, Paul?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, going in, in." And yeah. they were just getting people in quick. And yeah. I remember I was in this warehouse, and like I was with all my Chelsea lot. We we're in one corner, and I thought, right, I'm going for a, a bop round. And uh, mm. went for a walk. I went over there. I was like, "Shit, there's a load of Tottenham." Right, double backed. <laughs> I went round the other way. This is true. It's yeah, in my book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went round the other way. West Ham. Fuck's sake. So and I went round the other way, Arsenal, and I'm like, right, I went back to my lot. I went, listen, mate, Tottenham are there, West Ham are there, Arsenal are there. I guys, it's fucking you lot better be yeah, ready. Football violence was big then. Yeah, right? it was yeah. like it was the, the, the yeah. late 80s, it was the yeah. thing, yeah? yeah. And I remember thinking, it's gonna go. And so obviously I'm on edge all night. Yeah. Next thing I see man all hugging each other yeah, and kissing yeah, each yeah. other, and I'm like, we were all kicking shit out of each other yeah, earlier yeah, on, yeah. and now <laughs> we're all here hugging. Yeah. yeah. And it it was it was there was there was that. Coupled with like there was like black, white, yeah. Um, yeah. Asian, everybody was together. Yeah. Indian, everybody was together. It was like ecstasy under it? It one roof, and there was of, yeah. no problems. Mm. And it was like you go outside. The outside on the road was more of a problem yeah. than inside the rave. Yeah, and I was like, this is me. I fucking yeah. it hooked me. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And uh, mm. but yeah, I, honestly, I will never forget that. And that was that pause. And I obviously yeah. found out later that um, Phil was part of Tottenham. Yeah, and Phil, you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah, so that's yeah, why. But yeah. it was so. Paul's from Tottenham as well. Paul's yeah, is he? Tottenham. Is he a Tottenham? I thought he's an Arsenal fan. No, nah, he's an Arsenal fan. Yeah. but he's from Tottenham. Yeah, that's from oh, yeah, of course he is from the Broadway. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. So all that that was controversial. That era, that football. I get that because I watched that in movies as well. Yeah, like, yeah. saying like it's mad. It's like the experience. It's I think it was, uh, there's a name for it. Was it the love, the year of love? Or well, uh, uh, summer uh, of love. Summer of yeah, love. Summer okay. of love. Yeah, summer of love. Yeah, yeah, Right, sunrise, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, mm, so yeah. like all that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Sunrise and people going out and yeah. coming together. It was Blacks, man. white, Chinese, mm. yeah. it don't matter. It was, it, it, was, yeah. it was like multicultural, like just a melting pot. It was a big thing of the whole racial thing, you know, whites mixing with black people, yeah. this and that. Cause, yeah, breaking down barriers. Yeah, it was, yeah. it broke yeah, yeah. down so many social yeah. barriers and that, and that again, that was one of the main so things. Big up all them lot, man. That was that was a big movement in our industry as well, even though we weren't yeah. a part of that, but that was mm. probably... Oh, I was there, mate, jaw swinging the lot. Sorry, mum, dad, if you're listening. But you know what? He was an amazing... Do you know what? I was talking to Michael earlier today. I hadn't spoken to him much since the, the new year, but he said to me, um, we were talking about their mirrors, and he said to me, do you know what? We were so lucky to have been able to experience like them times yeah. there because it's so different now it's mm. like you know everything is corporal is, it's very like corporate yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like, that's yeah. A probably a nice way he, he put yeah. it a different I, I, way yeah, I know what you mean it's like back then the sort of the streets controlled the destiny yeah. of the music yeah. Yeah. and now it's like management companies yeah. and agencies yeah. and yeah. Internet, they no sort of business. do that that was it and the thing yeah. is you how you heard about it was word of mouth I word remember my, mouth, my yeah. mate Donald he he just come when we were standing um, in um, uh, the world's end estate and he come around and he was like listen like we was in the pub and 
And yeah. then he pissed off. And then we did the next day we see him. He's like, oh, last night I went to this race, yeah. acid house rave. And I was like, what's that? And he's like, yeah. it's this warehouse. I don't even know where, where it was. Like, yeah, and then yeah, he's yeah. like, next week we're doing it. And yeah. so we all went there. It was all like the Secret anticipation. It was, but it was ram. So, so it must have been so organic as well. There was no oh, manipulation no. with algorithms. And I remember seeing, going to a rave and there was about a thousand people there. And then the next not week, 1500. Ah, not, not one no, phone. Like, the phones were not even a thing back yeah. then. And then uh, you had to go to the phone boxes, as you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. phone boxes to get the number, to and then the you phone go numbers. to another one. But and... I see it grow like 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, yeah. and I see it grow up to like yeah. the 20, 30,000s. Yeah. And like, it was just mad. And I remember it was quite funny because I would be walking along the road and I'd be going to all the people on my estate. I'd be like, listen, yeah. there's this thing called acid house, you lot. And yeah. there were some people that were right against it. Yeah. They were like, oh, you, you drug he's man. Druggy, he's druggy yeah, music. Yeah, you That's drug man, yeah, druggy yeah, music. Yeah. And, and a little bit like, oh, you know, or piss off with your drug thing. And I was like, don't worry, yeah. you'll be there one day, yeah, a year yeah. later in the corner of a rave all like yeah, that. Yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, ah, yeah, I got yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, like that. Like it was definitely a music where they used to associate it with that yeah. because I think the government as well used to pull it all over the news, you know, trying to ban this music. Yeah. Well, it's, it's like, it, the thing is when they, when they get on there and they start saying we want to ban it, or we want to yeah. shut things down, what's it going to do? It's going to make yeah. people go, I want it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, funny enough, I remember a stage in DMB was like that with the squat parties. Oh, Not yeah. too long ago. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too long that was ago. only a few years ago. Not yeah. too long ago, I yeah. think 2012. Yeah. We was running, I was running a sticky event and... um. I had a booking uh, at a rave and I went there and basically I got to this place and I was thinking, what is this? Like, yeah. big, massive world. And there's thousands of yeah. people 8, in there. 8,000 people yeah. in there. The stage was on some little plank. I remember that air. one. That was up by uh, the old End Night Club. Yeah, yeah. In that warehouse yes, next yes, to the end. Yes. Wow. Was, yes. It was like, you know where the end was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a big, yeah, massive, em house. big, massive, empty building and, yeah. and they had some bloody rave in and there. We, and we used to go all over and then when I went in, I thought, right, this is mad and then I see people like doing madness in there. Like, no security. Yeah. No security, you know, yeah. bruv. Yeah, and all them people. Everyone's a shot yeah. in the dark. But you know what, though? It, 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 it was safe. There was yeah. no 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 trouble or nothing. Well, well, saying I didn't that, see and then the news thing happened, didn't it, when them kids started to jump over the fence to try and get to these parties. Right. And, you know, a couple kids got killed. And that's oh, when shit. they put it on the really? news. Really? Yeah, bruv. In I Croydon. Don't that. I remember oh, right. I didn't go news. to the Croydon one. Yeah. Like, there was a, there was, it was mad, bruv. They, and then I remember being booked at loads of them. And then, because they was paying silly money. They yeah. was. I remember they hit me. They, 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 these kids would hit you up. They'd be about yeah. 15, 16. They're bare dough for you. You go, the first thing you say, do you do squats? Yeah. Yeah. And that was it. Do you do squats? Like, because some people do it. Yeah, do you remember we had to do this thing where we'd be like, no, sorry, no squats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had to I kind mean, of. I remember the yeah. saying that if you get caught at that and your name's on the thing, that's what it was. Strong, yeah, and that's been banned. That's why I had to stop yeah. doing them. I, yeah. I was gutted because I liked them. Yeah. Do you know what? But then they Isn't said to that... the agency, said to me, yo, if you get caught doing this, when you, when you do a police check or CRB, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. It will come up on your ting and then say, O2 the Academy won't let you in the thing. Yeah, I was. That's when the six nine six forms come in. Do you remember the police brought the six nine six forms? At one point, we had to do them all the time. That was why. That was why. Yeah, it's because of that. They done a zombie fest. I remember. Right, I think it yeah. was something like that. Five thousand people and bare people got squashed in the yeah. queue, and then they locked the door, and then people got trapped in the venue, and was trying to get out. Police was trying to get in. It yeah. was a madness. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's crazy, man. Yeah, you know man. I mean? You know, what? No, I totally forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, it was a mad error. But you know what? We do need to wrap this up because, yeah. like, you know, it, it's, that's it's a good listen, way to wrap up. That was still. a. That was a. I really enjoyed that yeah, one because there's yeah, things yeah. that I bloody forgot about and then there's yeah. things I didn't know. So look, yeah, I'm in the yeah, business yeah. and I still For me, learn. I like to do subjects what I don't know about because that, yeah. like if you think about something too hard, you'd be like, oh yeah, I know it's good to be prepared yeah, yeah. but I didn't know what we was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it works. But listen, you know what? Yeah. Uh, this is SSSSS, Life and Laughter. We want you to subscribe, hit the bell, do all the usual things. Don't forget to tell a friend, tell a friend and you know, most importantly, follow so that when we drop a new one, you know it's coming. Peace. Peace. S A S A S A S S S. Beats and bars. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Don't know what every. The best of the best of the best. So awesome if they're ready. Yes, yes, yes. S A S A S A S S S. Beats and bars. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Don't know what every. The best of the best of the best. So awesome if they're ready. Yes, yes, yes.